I think I'm addicted to Halloween decorations and I have this little thing to blame. All you need is like a little Roomba vacuum and then you put a broom on it and it looks so magical. The only problem is I don't have a Roomba. And this creator was an absolute doll because they were all over in the comments saying that they bought this from Big Lots. And then I was even more thrilled to see in the Big Lots listing that this doesn't need a Roomba. It literally comes with a little mechanism that moves around. The problem is I don't have a Big Lots and if I were to order it from them, it wouldn't get here till November. <laughs> And I finally found one on Amazon. Also, I thought my sound was working in this clip here and it's not, so. Which is broomsticks. You get narrator help for just for a second. Honestly, this little thing is genius. It comes in like all the little pieces and it's pretty easy to put together. And I did see some of the reviews online saying that this thing is really loud and I was about to find out what that meant. Oh, but it's not doing anything. Oh, that's so much better. I was like, is it really gonna do that every time? Honestly, this little thing is so much fun, but I can't wait to show it to you when my whole house is finally done. So the main areas of my house that I'm focusing on decorating is the entry, especially this little table here. I think I can do something really cute with it. And then like maybe some little things here and there in my living room and maybe a little bit in the kitchen too, we'll see. Let's get rid of all this not Halloween stuff. How are those stuck in there? That was a bad noise. Spooky plants. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Okay, we have this cute lace that looks kind of like a spider web. So I'm going to put that along the bottom of the table. Okay, I have this cute little tablecloth thingy. My mom told me to get it. She said uh, to uh, that that would look good. Shout out to Susan. I, I don't know. I just like him. Oh. And this, but look how brilliant it is. It's happy Halloween, but then once it's like the end of November, it's Thanksgiving. That's gonna go here. Some pumpkins and stuff next to him, I think. Okay, I have all kinds of different candles, black ones, but these I'm really excited about. They're called bleeding candles. And if they are what I think they are, it's gonna be so cool. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put my bleeding ones in the candle holder. This is either gonna be really cool or it's gonna do absolutely nothing. Oh my gosh, I see it. The red starting, ah! Oh, I think the back one's gonna go first. Oh, there it goes. How did the one that I lit first end up being the last one to drip? Okay, so the table's looking cute, but I definitely need to add some like cobwebs to make it spookier. And then I have one piece in particular for this table that's really gonna make the whole thing. This is a DIY that I found on TikTok. I've seen a whole bunch of different variations of this, but it's this little cauldron and they take clear or iridescent Christmas ornaments. And then I think they just string like a fairy light or something through them to give it this glowing effect, but. Got my spirit Halloween cauldron. And so I don't have to fill this entire thing up with ornaments. We have this little foam ball that we spray painted. So I'm gonna stick this in the middle here and then it can all go around it. These are glass. So the trick is to not shatter anything while making this. I didn't really think through how I was gonna glue these ornaments together though. For some reason I thought E6000 cause E6000 sticks everything, right? Not ornaments apparently. <laughs> just a time lapse of me glowing these on and that's just zooming around in the background. Oh no. Mm. What do I do? Ah. Ah! So we found a different solution, double-sided tape. Not just any double-sided tape, it's like, I think Gorilla Glue brand double-sided tape, so it's very, very strong. And that ended up working much, much better. Ooh. <gasps> what color should we do? Oh, the changing one? <gasps> All right, lights are in. Please be cool. Oh! So this DIY took like probably an hour and a half. It was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be, but honestly, the end result is so cool. Okay, before we get to the grand finale of Halloween DIY decorations, I have another just cute little fun one. And it's so easy. You just need like one of those tomato cages, pool noodle, that's gonna be the ghost's arms, some Christmas lights so that he lights up, and boom, it's the cutest little glowing ghost. Okay, seems easy enough, right? Ghost body, ghost head, ghost arms. It's kind of stubby arms. I feel like her arms were longer. 
ghost lights. I think he turned out pretty cute. I feel like my application of the lights could have been a little bit more even, but not bad. <laughs> Welcome to day two of Halloween DIYs. These next couple are treats. Okay, so our first one are these cute little Halloween cookie sandwiches. Honestly, I love these sugar cookies that they make for all of the different holidays, but I have bad news. They've literally already replaced Halloween with Christmas in most stores. <laughs> that should be a crime to get rid of Halloween two weeks before Halloween, but I guess we're making elf sandwich cookies. But then I'm doing another treat that is for sure Halloween. Okay, step one, pan, parchment cookies into the pan. <laughs> They're little elf hats. Okay, then we place them pretty close together so that they form basically a solid sheet of cookie. Okay, now I'm gonna pop this in the oven for like 10 minutes. Okay, while our cookies are cooking, we're gonna do our second DIY treat. This one's pretty easy. It's literally just these little ghosts and you can make like hot chocolate or coffee or whatever. <laughs> Except instead of Sharpie and throwaway cups, I'm just gonna use a dry erase marker on a glass one. That should work, right? Got our marshmallow mellow fluff. And then I think they just scooped some onto the back of a spoon and then they just plop on a little ghost. Yeah, these are kind of sad ghosts. Okay, I don't know how they got their ghosts so round. My ghosts don't want to be round. I mean, sure. <laughs> okay, now we add the eyes. Okay, eye, eye, mouth. Okay, it's cute still. <laughs> now that he has facial features, it looks better. Okay, let me add the rest real quick. Perfect. There's our little ghosts. Cute. Okay, I made a mess, but cute. <laughs> okay, that's actually a really fun little DIY. Okay, our cookies are done, but I feel like we need to throw them in the fridge for just a minute. Okay, the ghosts do melt if you leave them in the hot chocolate for a while, apparently. They are cool enough, at least with my patience level. Hey, excuse you, <laughs> Leo. You're being rude. Maybe don't follow my instructions, follow the actual video, because I don't know what I'm doing. The bottom doesn't matter though, right? Oh! oh no! Sad, okay, we're, we're just gonna like squish it back together, it's fine. It's like nothing ever happened. Our ice cream, beautiful, okay. And now, the last layer. One, two, three! Oh. <laughs> Maybe the fast way is not the best way to do this one. I don't even know how you would serve this. It's so, oh. Listen, we tried. <laughs> it's gonna taste the same. That's what really matters, right? It's like a bazooki. Yeah. Ooh. Way to look on the bright side. <laughs> Still tastes good. That's all that matters. Are you ready for the grand finale of Halloween DIY decorations? So I saw this TikTok. It's this guy that turned his whole driveway into this like toxic waste Halloween swamp. So when you like step on the ground, it lights up, but I've never wanted something in my house more than this toxic waste swamp. <laughs> okay, the TikTok person setup was really impressive. It was like this toxic waste theme with the skeletons and the, the, the tipped over cans. I'm not that fancy, but I did find these. <laughs> They're like toxic waste containers, but you blow them up. I think they'll be fun. So I'm thinking these can kind of like cover some of the fog machines a little bit. We'll put one here and one over here. Next up, lasers. I'm hoping this isn't as complicated as it sounds. <laughs> I mean, they just plug in and then they come with a little stand so you can position them. Nice. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Okay, our lasers are lasering. Now it's time for the baby fog machines. <laughs> I've never used one of these before in my whole entire life. Okay, what even is fog juice? Water and glycerin? Glycerin. Okay, so it's kind of like bubble solution. Okay, I think it's all put together. Let's turn it on. If this works, I feel like we're gonna use it in like every video, every intro, I'm like, welcome. Ooh, there's the light. Three, two, one. What? Why didn't it do anything? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay, the baby fog machines are all in place and now it's time for this one. It was so expensive, but I'm so excited about it. This machine spits out bubbles that are full of fog. It's gonna be cool. All right, this is like literally for professional DJs. So we need fog and bubble juice for this one. Oh! Wait, that's definitely not doing, hang on. Whoa. Oh, look, there are some. 
Boom. <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't ever want it to stop. Didn't think it would get fog everywhere though. <laughs> These are so cool. Oh, this is so fun. Whoa, that's a big one. And now the only thing to do was wait till it got dark so that we can put it all together. All right, everything is all set up. I'm about to turn off the lights. And it already looks cool and we don't even have like the fog and stuff going. Are you ready? Ta-da! That's so cool! Oh my gosh, and look at Leo's little paws when he runs through it. Ugh. Honestly, getting these lasers to line up perfectly horizontally was a little bit trickier than I thought it would be. <laughs> but it has to be like perfectly level with the ground, not too high above the ground or else you'll lose the effect. Oh my gosh, and look at the broom when it drives through the lasers. It literally looks like an enchanted floated broom. And then it was time for the foggle machine. Let's turn on the fog. Whoa. <gasps> look at the bubbles. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. All right, that's it. I'm leaving my house like this permanently. So there we were, all having the best time when all of a sudden... <laughs> what are you? I guess the party's over. <laughs> okay, it's pretty bad. I, did, nobody warned me that fog machines set the smoke alarm off. This was all very last minute, so you can bet I'm gonna keep all of this stuff, save it for next year, and probably just like add to it every Halloween until my house is a full-blown haunted house. <laughs>